Thank you for tuning into the channel where I will be discussing calisthenics basics. Um, but this morning I was doing a controlled circuit, not necessarily about speed, but just, you know, focus on mastering the movement and not worrying about the rep count. So it was narrow grip pull-ups and next was full range of motion dips. They were actually deeper there, 90 degree, getting a lot of shoulder activation in there. And after that was inverted rows on the gymnastic rings and diamond push-ups. Um, with a specific emphasis on each movement versus them just being your standard pull-up, your 90 degree dip, um, your regular inverted row, and your regular push-up. Everyone was specifically targeted for specific muscle groups. So with that being said, let's get started. When it comes to training calisthenics basics um, of the ones you see here, um, pike push-ups could be included as well. Don't forget the squats, but we're talking about upper body movements right now. But all of it could fit in this conversation is taking your time to master the movement, to not necessarily get caught up in how much time you have or how many reps you can complete right or how, or how many sets you can complete those are not as important as making sure you have the fundamentals and great form down having correct form is going to override all of it personally i would rather have less amount of reps that are excellent form taking my time through the full range of motion getting some mind muscle connection going on in there proper breathing as well with the control on the eccentric not just dropping down because i'm lacking control i would prefer to get less reps that are very clean versus a high amount of reps that are sloppy technique is not correct and those two can actually lead to potential injury as I have seen many come across in the calisthenics community in the name of chasing reps. So why is control important? Control is important for one if, now we're not talking about fast reps. They have their benefit there as well. You can do fast reps with control and great form. But if you're taking your time, as you see here, pausing at the top so you can get a squeeze at that peak contraction, for example, when you're doing a pull-up, when you're at the top of the pull-up, if you just drop down, as soon as you get to the top, that contraction is a split second or a second. It's very, very small. But if you squeeze at the top for a second or two or three over the course of a few reps, that is some additional time under tension that that contraction is under. That can be at the top of a push-up and you're squeezing your pecs and your triceps at the top of a dip if you have that mind muscle connection you're squeezing your chest muscles as well at the top of an inverted row you're squeezing your rear delts if you have mind muscle connection to do that it's possible that makes a difference versus you just you get to the top you drop to the bottom you get to the top you drop to the bottom those things add up over time over the course of many reps and over the course of many sets so rep count, I don't feel rep count is so important because if your goal is to stimulate the muscle for growth, then that can be done in various amount of reps. It depends on one, how much intensity you're putting into the rep and how much tension the muscle is under for a period of time. And depending on what exercise you're doing and for how long, those reps can vary. You know, there's no imaginary line where as soon as you get to 10 reps and the body's like, oh, we've reached 10 reps, build muscle. It's not that simple, okay? I think another thing that's very important is your mindset going into the training, going into your next set, thinking back on the previous set or your previous reps. That's why it's good to record yourself. How was your last rep? How was your last set? If you're doing push-ups and you did a significant amount and you stimulated the muscle and targeted that targeted muscle, which should be the chest and the triceps, are you feeling it in your chest? 
if you're doing pull-ups are you feeling it in the lats are if they're chin-ups are you feeling it in the biceps if not perhaps your technique is off perhaps your form is off perhaps the rep speed has been so quick that and maybe not fast enough not fast enough it's been so quick without enough time to where there's not enough tension on there if that makes sense so you can keep these things in mind and master them take your time to master these basics and your reps will go up for sure there's no need to rush or to feel like you have to do a certain number of reps definitely when i first got into calisthenics i definitely thought like okay i got to hit 500 push-ups to build a chest like no there's no imaginary number that says you have to do this to get that for example if you were to take the push-up and you were to slow the movements down let's say with about a three second eccentric you pause at the bottom for a second maybe two seconds come to the top pause at the top for a second but four to six seconds per rep multiply that over the course of a few reps if it's 10 reps then you have about 45 seconds to a minute depending on the speed you're going with time under tension and multiply that time sets you can stimulate some growth for sure with that method okay so it's important that you keep these things in mind your tempo your form and the mindset that you're going into I don't think because oh I don't have an hour I can't train there are such things as micro workouts they do work what matters is that as long as you are stimulating the muscle with what how much tension and for the amount of time with the intensity the higher the intensity of the exercise you might not get that many reps for example some people can do a lot of muscle ups or if you're doing weighted calisthenics you know weighted pull-ups or weighted dips or weighted push-ups or weighted rows the heavier the weight the lower amount of reps you're going to get and vice versa so appreciate you guys tuning in i hope that wasn't too complex if you have questions please ask focus on your form have the right mindset the right tempo and technique and everything will work out mindset